to come to bless the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you love the Lord, just say hallelujah, please. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yes. Under the sound of my voice right now. Praise the Lord. Um, so, please, um, I would like to get started by reading the word. Um, first, I thank um, everybody who's here. You know, thank you for Patrick for giving me the opportunity to speak. Um, I thank you know all the ministers and all the leaders. You know, in their respectful places and all the guests that are here. You know, um, so if we can all please stand for the reading of the word. Amen. Um, I'm coming from Proverbs and Ephesians. But first, I'm going to do Proverbs 16 and 24. Um, everybody, um, just get it. You know, I'll give you a decent amount of time. If not, I just got to move forward. Time has been, you know, so far well spent. <laughs> Proverbs 16, 24. All right. So coming from Proverbs 16, 24. It reads, pleasant words as, the hun as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. I'll read it again. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, health to the bones. All right. Now, let's just hopscotch on over to Ephesians, please. All right. We're going to be coming from Ephesians 4.29. This should be a common one for you all. Ephesians 4.29. New Testament. All right, I'll just get on with it. Um, so it reads, And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true to holiness. Hallelujah. And then um, there's another one I wanted to read. It says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, right now I come to you, God, you know, as humble as I can, God. And I say thank you for this opportunity, God. But more importantly, God, I just want to say I love you. And you you've been great to me, and you still are being great to me in all my future, God. And I thank you, God. And I ask that you please just decrease me to zero right now, God. Just so I can be full with you, God. Please just put yourself at my capacity, God. Jesus. Hallelujah, God. And I ask that you please just, you know, give me the words to say and to speak to those that are here and those that are not here. You know, allow my uh, allow your word to travel, you know. Yes. Through the vibrations of my voice, God. Yes. I love you so much, God. And I really thank you for everything. And I ask that you please bring me back when you are finished with me, God. And allow everything that I do to be in order from you for your glory. I love you and I thank you for everything. Holy Christ, Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. amen. All right, all right. So um, I want to um, before I tell you guys what the what the message is, I want to um, give you a little background. So in Ephesians, we realize that Paul he's um he's speaking about learning Christ. So he's speaking about learning Christ, and Paul mentions a few things, but also he moves on to mention that a power that God get, has given us all, which is the power of words. So the um, title is, uh, Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is. All right, come on. Do y'all like that? Yeah. It don't matter. Put your money where your mouth yeah. is. Yeah. Um, come on. So it's funny because um, my notes are on this receipt. Amen. So... Um, I'm going to tell you the great thing about this um, this receipt um, I needed to pay a piece of paper to you know write my um, my uh, sermon on and because God was speaking to me and I was in one of the labs at work in the lab and um, since like 6.40 in the morning something was like don't throw this paper away I've ha I haven't worn this suit jacket since March and I and I what I bought on this paper was a pizza I bought a whole pizza the day I got hired don't forget, we're in the season of finances. So I found this receipt the day, from the day that I got hired to the job that I'm working now. So that's a great thing for me. And, um, you know, something was like, just don't throw that away. 
And I was like, for what? And I just couldn't figure out why I was still in my pocket until I was in the lab and God was speaking. I said, oh, I need something to write on. Amen. Um, so, um, you know, put your, put your money where your mouth is. And um, like I was saying earlier in Ephesians, you know, Paul is telling us that, um, telling us about the, the gift that God gave us, which is, you know, the power of words. And do you guys know how powerful your words truly are? As you notice, there's the world's famous scripture, life and death lie in the power of your own tongue. Yeah. Which means anything that you speak, if somebody is in agreement with you, with God, then it shall come to pass. It shall happen. Yes. And um, so you can speak your own future, come on now. even though you can't change your own past. Isn't come that a blessing God. in itself? Yeah. All right. Um, so um, basically what I came here to tell you is that... Um, you have to be careful about what you're saying to saying about yourself or to others, you know? You need to stop mentally abusing yourself because when you say negative things to yourself, um, um, finance, when the season of finances, I go there. When you're telling people, when you go out, you're like, oh, well, mom, and I really want to go out to eat, but uh, I ain't got it, I'm broke player. Like, like how, how that sound? Because eventually after a while, you keep telling people that, and, and you're going to be broke. You ain't going to have it. Like, but I mean, it's it's a you need to choose how you use your words, you know. Yeah. It's like, Come on, eh? Marvin, I wanna go out to eat with you play, but um I got it and all, but I'm just not in the mood or I need this money for something else. Sorry. Amen. That's it. That's it. God's still gonna allow you to have it. You're still gonna have it in your future. You're not telling yourself that you're broke. You're telling yourself that you got other things you wanna do. Amen. So um it's it's time for us to really start telling ourselves that, you know, we got it, and you need to, and as far as like people worrying about jobs, because I know that was my issue. I was worrying about where I was going to get hired at, and I was like, well, I don't know why I'm not getting picked up. Maybe my resume's not good enough. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not qualified, and I know people have told themselves the same thing. Jesus. Maybe you're not good enough. Maybe Absolutely. you're not qualified, but that's what the thing is. You need to stop doing that. You need to stop telling yourself that you're, that you're so negative. You need to start telling yourself that, okay, I am good enough. And if you are good enough, then get good enough. You know hey, what? Practice. On. Put some time into it. You, know? so, um, you need to start Jesus. start doing things to, you know, to better yourself and become what you want to become. You know, and um, it, it's, a, it's a process. But through that process, it's elevation. And through that elevation, you need to remain humble. And give God all the glory. Amen. Can we just get a praise for that? Give God all the glory. Amen. It belongs to Him anyway, I should say. So, um, back to what I was saying about being broke, telling yourself that you're broke. When you tell yourself that, okay, I don't have it, I'm broke, that creates a double negative. Broke. Financially, mentally. When you're broken mentally, your mind isn't right. You're, you're sensitive. You're... You're eager, you're anxious for whatever reason, and, and we as believers of Christ should not be anxious for anything. Right. Yeah. Come on, sir. So being mentally broken is being unstable. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Being financially broken is being broke. You can't do nothing. Can't pay your bills, get kicked out, nobody wants you around, can't have fun, you know, and you seem irresponsible. So um, season of finances, I really wanted to say this, um, speaking that it is Father's Day, um, you know, I know my father's in, um, in this, this area with us right now, but, um, my father's taught me a lot about finances, um, doing my life like me, as well as taxes, he's taught me about managing my finances, he's taught me about how to buy things and, and how money can work for myself, not just me working for my money. Mm. So, um, Jesus. look at this coincidence, the first thing. Father's Day is in the season of finances. Amen. Two, my dad's birthday is in the season of finances. Amen. Three, the root word of coincidence is incident, but the prefix is coin. Money is everywhere. You just got to go get it. So it's like, it's so many things that, that you can do so many things that you can have to show you how money is working for yourself and you need to tell yourself, I may not have it now, but tomorrow, I don't know. I might be rich. Tomorrow, I don't know. I might have more than you. Tomorrow, I don't know. I might be lending you something. 
and you gonna pay me back the next day. Or, 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 or as, as, um, as uh, my culture likes to say, I, I, I get you when I got it. <laughs> but um, so that that's it's the important thing, you know. You know, um, put your money where your mouth is. You know, you need to start being able to speak your financial blessing over yourself and stop going to the pastor all the time like, oh, pastor, I ain't got it, oh, please, Lord, oh, God. Like, no, you need to really just get out there and work, you know, fill out an application, you know, update your resume or, or, or even just tell yourself, I know what's wrong. I know what I'm doing. I know what I need to do. I got it. Even if you don't have it, tell yourself that you got it. Like, because as I say, the lies that you tell others about yourself potentially become your future 100% of the time. Amen. Amen. Jesus. So if you tell people that you're terrible, you're negative all the time, eventually that's all you're going to become is a mess. You tell your people I'm successful, I'm working hard. You're going to be a blessed person of God. Amen. So I mean, really just um, keep God in everything and um, put your money where your mouth is and don't forget this, please. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this very word. Jesus. I thank you for how it's touched the people and I ask that you please allow me to carry on in your holy presence on Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. 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 amen.